December 31, Tuesday, seventh day within the octave of the Nativity of the Lord. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. In the beginning was the Word, and the Word was with God, and the Word was God. He was in the beginning with God. All things came to be through Him, and without Him nothing came to be. What came to be through him was life, and this life was the light of the human race. The light shines in the darkness, and the darkness has not overcome it. The true light, which enlightens everyone, was coming into the world. He was in the world, and the world came to be through him, but the world did not know him. He came to what was his own but his own people did not accept him. But to those who did accept him, he gave power to become children of God. To those who believe in his name, who were born, not by natural generation, nor by human choice, nor by a man's decision, but of God. And the word became flesh, and made his dwelling among us. And we saw his glory, the glory as of the Father's only Son, full of grace and truth. The Gospel of the Lord And the Word became flesh. The Divine Word becomes a human being. God becomes like us humans. This is the mystery of the Incarnation. Jesus is believed to be God who existed to all eternity, and now like us, he is thrown into space and time. As a human being, the word incarnate, who is Christ, is subject to the lot of humans. Now he thinks and moves about as a Palestinian in the Eastern Mediterranean context. He shares in people's dreams, joys, climate, food, and history. He speaks and preaches using the Aramaic language to rectify their mistakes and to save them from damnation. He will suffer unjustly and die for us. Resistance to him is overwhelming. An ordinary human cannot cope with, but being God, Christ succeeds in accomplishing God's will for him and for us. John the Baptist testifies that the Word made flesh is the light that enlightens the world, and darkness has not overcome it. Christ is always victorious over the forces of darkness and evil. To share in His victory, we Christians must seek to understand His teachings or His words. His pictures or movies may help, but His words must sink into our hearts and minds to change us, we must be on the side of Christ.